original. Pumping on me high grade, sipping on me liquor. Girls, them I come, them I want, them I take up. But man, me I come in, me I wanna take. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial is brought to you by VV Baby Hair and they sent me this 13 by 4 lace front wig and this is their loose deep wave texture. It is 180% density and it is a 26 inch. It does carry the usual wig construction, with wig construction if I can talk. It has the combs on the inside as well as adjustable straps and guys we're just like jumping straight into the video I have a wig cap on and I just took the wig straight out of the package and I tried it on my head I must say that the front of the unit didn't fit my head so well I don't know maybe it's the shape of my head but at first when I got it out the box and I put it on my head it seemed a little bit short on the sides but when I was done I managed to finesse it and after like cutting off the lace and gluing it the wig did stretch to fit my head so yeah it it was a bit of a like um it had me like worried but it ended up working out in the end but this is what the wig looks like I think the waves in the wig are really really nice like I love the curl pattern or whatever you want to call it but I really like the, how the hair looks it looks really nice and guys the knots I must say on the front are a little visible in a sense like the knots are not bleached I wish I had maybe like bleached the knots to help with like the melting of the lace but it did end up working out I used um, makeup and stuff but if I was gonna like wear this wig again I would definitely bleach the knots so um, it would blend better for me. Um, yeah, I'm going in with some ghost bond to attach the wig. At first, I wasn't going to use glue, but then I just did like one layer. And as you can see, I didn't even do a ball cap at all because I didn't plan on gluing it down. But because the wig seemed as if it wasn't going to fit my head properly at the front, I decided to glue it down so it'll probably like stay into place more so that's what I did and I just used one layer I used some alcohol to like wipe my skin off and then I did a layer only one because I didn't plan on keeping on the wig for long and even though I didn't want to keep it on long I had it on for three days three days because it was just like stuck to my head so I kept it on and I ended up really loving the look of the wig but yeah I'm just putting the lace onto the glue and guys try and pull your lace over the glue so you have less to clean up even if you pull it over the glue and you cut the extra lace off and you have little areas to fill in then that's perfectly fine you can just use the tail off your comb to fill in those areas that are lifting versus using a lot of glue and bringing it too far down and then it's going to be a hard like task to clean it all up but this is what the hair looks like I tied it down just to get the lace to melt in a bit I used the elastic band a elastic band just like any elastic band that you would sew into your wig that's what I used and guys I did not pluck this wig I don't know because I was in a rush I ended up going out after this to eat I was in a rush so I did not pluck the wig at all and I don't think that it's pre-plucked in a sense. Like, it's kind of plucked, but I feel like it needs to be plucked just a little bit more for it to be, like, you know, like, seamless and on point. So, I did go in after putting it on, and I just, like, plucked it somewhat. I don't even think I really plucked it properly because I just needed my hair done and I needed to go. But that's what um, the wig looks like. All the information for this hair, guys, will be in the description bar down below as well as a coupon code so you can save dollars off on your purchase but wow this is what the wigs the wig is looking like after I plucked it a bit and after I tied it again with the elastic band and I tell you every time I take the elastic band off I hit myself I don't know I sting myself but yeah this is what it's looking like and I'm just gonna trim those edges a little bit down use my hot comb on the scalp area just so it can like lay flat and yeah then I'm gonna do my part and add some mousse and for my edges I use some got to be chill 
I feel like I kind of over plucked my edges but you'll see it when I'm done but I'm just like damn at least it looks realistic because on the side my edges are like that so I'm like at least it looks realistic but yeah I'm doing a side part and I like the fact that I was able to do such a deep part so the parting space on this wig is really nice I must say and guys the hair it didn't shed much um it is a deep wave texture so you know it's not like a straight wig so curly and wavy textures tend to shed somewhat when you like comb it so it didn't shed like out of the ordinary it was pretty good and I feel like the 180 density was just right I feel like if it was more I couldn't manage the hair so I feel like this density was good for the um the look and guys I wanted to try my crimping iron out um I bought a crimping iron a while back to crimp my hair and I never used it I've had it maybe almost a year and I never used it and I just decided like okay since it's already like a deep wave texture let me just do the crimps and you know it'll look cute even if I don't do a good job at the crimping and this crimping iron is a bedhead crimping iron and I got it from Walmart so this is my first time ever crimping here so don't laugh because bruh I, I don't know I look weird and I burn myself so when y'all are doing this especially if you're using this iron be careful I burn myself like twice on my neck doing the back so in the future when I'm crimping hair I will definitely do it on my mannequin head before I lay my lace because this this ain't it this is not it so I'm using some got to be free spray and guys when you're crimping your hair you do need hairspray so I'm using that and I'm I noticed while doing the hair when I added the got to be free spray all along um the section it did um it crimped better it looked better because this section I barely added any and I realized if the sections are um too thin or too small it doesn't crimp properly so while doing my hair I learned a few things and I think I'm gonna do a video on how to like do crimps on your wigs but I'll do it on my mannequin head because I can't with the burns that I be giving myself but yeah let me know if y'all want a crimping video like a detailed one because I figured it out after the fact so I can show y'all like how to properly do it but that's what it's looking like as you see when I did the second one it looked better but as I went along it got better okay just know that you need hairspray you definitely need hairspray you need some kind of spritz or some kind of thing like that and then you need to like spray the hair from the root to the end in order for it to like crimp properly if you barely spray it it's not gonna like crimp and if you try to crimp the hair without hairspray it's not gonna look the way how you see it all those stylists when they do it so you definitely need hairspray and i would suggest a heat protectant spray just to not like fry your hair too much i didn't use a heat protectant spray because i i didn't know what i was doing at first but yeah that's like my little tip but i'm gonna go ahead and crimp the rest of it and because it already had a wave the crimps just looked extra nice because it wasn't even like coming from like a straight texture it was already wavy so the crimps just popped up like they popped all the way out with the um with the hair texture and i feel like this hair is like a really good quality i like the feel of it the only problem that i had was the knots at the front and i feel like i should have um I should have bleached it but I was lazy I don't like bleaching hair or doing any of that extra stuff to be honest I'd be taking my wig straight out of the package and finessing it like that's just the truth and I'm gonna take this off and everything is like melted and the hair looks super good I really hope y'all like you know like like this tutorial let me know if y'all learned anything Cause, sis, I really tried. It was my first time crimping anything, and I feel like I slayed because I went out and I was feeling myself and my hair. If y'all like this hair, the information will be down below in the description box. You can like check it out, and yeah, there's a coupon code as well for you to get like dollars off. Please like this video. Please comment. Please share and please like subscribe so we can grow, guys. I want to get to 100k. Like, what are we doing? Thank you guys so much for watching another video of mine. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.